E allora la categoria è quella dei 64 kg. E qui vi voglio sentire, eh? voglio sentire il calore dell'Alcatraz. Allora, dall'Argentina. Ventun anni, sessantatre chilogrammi e sei So the man walking toward the boxing ring, the jewelry around his neck is Ronan Nahuel Sanchez, 21 years of age. He's approaching the Rope Arena for his fourth contest in season five. He's ring a record of one win and two defeats. Three completing bouts this season. He's ranked 16 in the 64 kilogram light welterweight division. Has experience from season three as well. The inaugural season of the Argentina Condors. Looking to beat off his record. Two wins, two losses here in season five tonight. È il momento del capitano degli Italia Thunder. E allora la categoria è quella dei 64 kg. E qui vi voglio sentire, eh? voglio sentire il calore dell'Alcatraz. Allora, dall'Argentina. 21 anni, 63 kg e 6 So the man walking toward the boxing ring. The jewelry around his neck is Ronan Nahuel Sanchez, 21 years of age. He's approaching the Rope Arena for his fourth contest in season five. He's ring a record of one win and two defeats. Three completing bouts this season. He's ranked 16 in the 64 kilogram light welterweight division. Has experience from season three as well. The inaugural season of the Argentina Condors. Looking to beat off his record. Two wins, two losses here in season five tonight. È il momento del capitano degli Italia Thunder. Da Margenise. Well, the Italia Thunder opened this week 11 contest with two Olympic bronze medalists from London 2012 representing them. And here's another one. Vincenzo Mangia Capri, 26 years of age, Olympic bronze medalist from London 2012 in the 64 kilogram light welterweight division and the number one ranked boxer in World Series boxing this season in the 64 kilogram weight class. Wonderfully talented boxer on a run of four straight vic victories after conceding his opening bout of this season five campaign in week one. And he is in pole position in terms of booking his place at another Olympics in Rio next summer. A wonderful round of applause for the man who is the captain of the Italia Thunder. When he's in the mood, he really does represent a very difficult proposition, and that is what Ronan Nahuel Sanchez is facing tonight. Second down. First round. So round one of a scheduled five three-minute rounds in the 64 kilogram light welterweight division. A boxer wearing the Italian colors of blue trunks trimmed with black and the dark gloves 
is Vincenzo Maggio Capre, whose radar seems to be spot on straight away because the manner in which he stands seemingly within punching range before swaying at the waist and moving his head to cause his opponent to miss by just a millimeter. Well, we've seen it in evidence already here tonight. Dominating center ring, operating as he does with his arms down by his sides, almost daring his opponent to try and take a shot at him because his reflexes are so quick that he can counter punch in the blink of an eye. And while they're punching, he makes them miss and then makes them pay as he did there. Classic Vincenzo Mangia Capre in evidence here in the opening round. And Ronan Nahuel Sanchez, well, there aren't too many boxers or sparring partners who can prepare you to face an opponent like this. Doesn't really do anything out of the textbook. His punches are correct, but the manner in which he moves, the manner in which he seemingly shows disdain for the shots coming his way and the composure he shows in the face of flurries coming from his opponent, well, it mu really must be a disconcerting proposition if you're not on the same talent level as he is. Just 21 years of age. Nahuel, excuse me, Sanchez is going to have a lot more seeding to acquire from Mangia Capre. He did pretty much as he liked during the course of that opening round. Well, the full repertoire of Mangia Capre was on display, both offensively and defensively, jolting left hand out of the southpaw stance and then dropping down to the body without missing a beat. Sanchez was really worked over during the course of that opening round. His commitment is going to be tested to the full against this accomplished performer in Vincenzo Mangia Capri. And surprisingly, all three judges scoring in favor of the Italian in that opening round. So round two. It really was a surprise to see Mangia Capri operate during week one against Abel Tullahad Zalaev over in Azerbaijan because the skills that he's demonstrating now, well, it was though they had just been mothballed during the off-season because where these punches were miss with the way these punches are missing now, the shots from Hadjalaev were landing flush on his chin, so much so that he took two eight counts during the course of that contest en route to dropping a unanimous decision. So perhaps suffering from some ring rust during the course of that week one opener, but since then, he hasn't missed a beat. The Satnav is in full working order once again. And he's been making opponents miss before responding with hard counter punches to both body and head. And a wonderful run between 2011 and 2012. Bronze medalist at World European and Olympic competitions. An Olympic bronze in 2012, losing to the eventual champion. And now Cuba Domadore Ronnie Ali Iglesias at the semi final stage. Good right hand to end that burst of punches from Mangia Capre, then engaging reverse gear, evading the punches neatly, and then puts the pressure back onto Ronan Nahuel Sanchez once more. Sanchez becoming increasingly tentative now. He's throwing punches, but they're what the boxing promoter Mickey Duff used to call don't hit me punches. Letting his hands go just to give the impression of being busy, but really. He's looking busy, doing not very much at all. Because every time he does open up and tries to score with effective offense of his own, Manje Capre is there to make him miss and exact a heavy toll in 
terms of the shots he comes back with. Look at Manje Capre daring Nahuel Sanchez to come forward with some shots of his own. And Sanchez reluctant to take up the invitation. Been beaten to the punch repeatedly. And for the most part of this second round has been out of punching range, the Argentinian. Manje Capri in complete control during that second round. So that's really the story of the fight in the sequences we're seeing here. Manje Capri on target, in range. Nahuel Sanchez agonizingly out of range and off target from his point of view. Fantastic exhibition from Vincenzo Manje Capri. And remember, the Condors, if they hope to extend the winning run that they began Second only round. last time out, with a 3-2 victory over Poland on home soil. Third round. They need to win this contest. 2-0 down after two completed bouts, the Argentina Condors. The brace of Olympic bronze medalists who competed in the first two bouts. Julie did their job for their team and a hard left hand from Manje Capre caused Nahuel Sanchez to dip momentarily, but he's remaining on the front foot because he knows he has to do something different in an effort to turn this bout around. Kudos to him. He's come out of the corner with the coach's instructions ringing in his ears. And he is trying an adaptive strategy up there in the boxing ring because trying to compete with this man, oh, good left hand from Ronan Nahuel Sanchez. Swinging hard now in an effort to try and put his man on the floor, but as a boxing contest, he was coming out a distant second best. Maybe he's trying to turn this into a brawl in an effort to enjoy more success than he has to this point. But Manje Capre, when he puts his combinations together, so much more authoritative, so much more effective. Penetrating the guard around the corner of the left glove with a hook. And even though he's fighting one man, you would forgive Ronan Nahuel Sanchez for thinking he's being surrounded. Wonderful exhibition of punching and evading punches from Vincenzo Manje Capre. And the crowd here in Milan like what he's producing. Midway through this third round, Ronan Nahuel Sanchez started more aggressively, but again, being made to miss, and then his head just jolted backwards by a hard left hand out of the southpaw stance. Right hand around the back of the left glove, once again from Manje Capre. So his third season in World Series boxing. Three fights in season three, was undefeated. Four fights in the last campaign, season four. Suffered one defeat, split decision. And Suleiman Diop Sissoko of the USA knockouts in week five of that campaign. Good right hand from Ronan Nahuel Sanchez. Pushing out straight shots from the shoulder again, but missing. Any ring veteran will tell you that ties you out far more quickly when you hit nothing but air than impacting against something solid. Another good round in the bag for Manje Capri. Cracking left hook in a combination of punches. 
Nahuel Sanchez was continually made to miss, but there's an effective two-punch combination. So he has been tagged on occasion, but not nearly enough to tilt the rounds in favor of the Argentinian. But as is his custom, Manje Capre standing up in between rounds. Second out. Fourth round. So round number four. Manje Capre so incredibly relaxed. Unless you have the skill set or the effective aggression and educated pressure to disrupt that relaxed demeanor as a boxer, you can be in for a very long night indeed. He's so comfortable up there in the boxing ring. It's the arduous task of every boxer who faces him to try and make him uncomfortable. But you can see from the legend he's put together in Olympic style boxing as he's really going through his repertoire of punches here, teeing off on Ronan Nahuel Sanchez, driving the Argentinian backwards and forcing him to cover up. But his resume and his record in Olympic style boxing gives you an idea of just how good you have to be to ruffle this man's feathers. Here's a good two-punch combination. Make that a three-punch combination on the unprotected chin of Manje Capri. He is there to be hit. And perhaps that confidence can at times overspill into complacency particularly when he's in such control as he's exhibiting here. There's another good right hand. Brings him onto the front foot. But Manje Capre just perhaps taking his foot off the gas in this round, and if not his foot off the gas, then his eye off the ball. Lack of concentration, misjudgment of distance, allowing Ronan Nahuel Sanchez to have some success with both combination punches and pot shot singles. So Nahuel Sanchez continuing to look for openings. Boxing against Manje Capre is something like a man in the desert approaching a mirage. You think you're seeing an opening, you think you're seeing something, but it doesn't really exist. So wonderful are his adjustments and his ability to just put himself out of punching range, as he did there. An adjustment of the feet, movement from the waist comes through with a beautiful corkscrew left. Just a bit of incorrect punching with that right hand from Manjir Capri. Bit of a slapping motion downwards. Nothing wrong with those punches to the body though from the Italian. Ronan Nahuel Sanchez enjoys right hand success on that occasion. More success than he's enjoyed throughout the entire contest here in round four. I'd still be surprised if it's enough to win the round. Just because you do better than in previous sessions doesn't automatically win as he takes a stiff right uppercut and a left uppercut. The referee looked as though he was going to intervene to issue a standing count, but from Rona Nahuel Sanchez's point of view, that bell coming at just the right time because those shots swiveled the head of Rona Nahuel Sanchez, making him appear as though he was a marionette with broken strings. Terrific punching from Mangia Capre. The bell sounded at just the right time, but there's one of them, and there's the left. Sent the eyeballs of Ronan Nahuel Sanchez into orbit a little bit. And another round unanimously for Manjir Capri. Fifth and the last round. So as we move into the fifth and final round, having put Ronan Nahuel Sanchez under such pressure during the course of that fourth round, how will Manjir Capri approach this one? Nahuel Sanchez has come out on the front foot, looking to take the fight to Manjir Capri. But Manjir Capri just leaning back with that right hand cocked out of the orthodox stance. 
As though he's looking to rip through an uppercut on the advancing. Now, well, Sanchez teeing off with left hooks again. And he's a big shot started catching the Argentinian. He's repelling a lot of them with that tucked up turtle defense with his gloves and his forearms. But plenty of them are penetrating the guard. Being erected by Nahuel Sanchez, Manji Capri with that old pros trick of shoving him off with the shoulder and trying to land with a shot. When his opponent was at punching distance. There's the same trick again and again, three times in succession. Referee not having a word about that. Using the shoulder in that fashion, not allowed in the rules, of course. Here, let's look for it again. Leaning on. No use of the shoulder on that occasion. Manja Capriel ended to stand, electing to stand stock still. And engage in exchanges with Ronan Nahuel Sanchez. So halfway through this fifth and final round, Manja Capri attempts to change the angle with a switch of the feet after landing a shot. It's an example of him getting caught going backwards and a good left hook from Ronan Nahuel Sanchez. with the impression that if the boxers do engage in an exchange, it's Manja Capri who just possesses the heavier artillery. And he will probably come out on top. There have been many exchanges of note. It's been one boxer punching, then the other, as we saw there. Good right cross from the Argentinian. Capri again targeting the body very effectively indeed with whipping arcing hooks and uppercuts to the torso of Ronan Nahuel Sanchez uppercut through the guard wasn't too far away from the Italian remember the Condors need a victory here if they hope to remain in, content in contention and take this week 11 matchup Well, nice embrace between the two boxers at the conclusion of five three-minute rounds in a light welterweight division. And that smile on the face of Vincenzo Mangia Capri told you that he's certain in his mind that he's done enough over the course of that contest to ensure victory for him and victory for his team here on home soil at the Discoteca Alcatraz in Milan. Another competitive round, as was round four. There's a beautiful straight right cross and then a cracking left hook from Ronan Nahuel Sanchez. So he did have his moments. And from my point of view, this man had more moments. And he was leading 40-36 for all three of the judges after four rounds. So there can be little doubt that it's his hand will be, that will be raised. Both, bo both boxers having heard the final bell. So Manje Capri. Ladies and gentlemen. I wait to see official the announcement. result of this bout is unanimous decision. All the judges have scored the bout 50 45, and the winner is uh, Red Corner Vincenzo Mangiacapre. Il capitano porta casa il punto. So the Italian, the, the Italian Thunder captain Vincenzo Mangiacapre extends his Ronald winning streak Nauer to five bouts. Number one ranked light like welterweight in World Come Series here, boxing. Vincenzo now has a record of five wins and just one solitary defeat that came in the opening week of season five. And more crucially, in the context of this match, the captain has given his team the decisive victory. That means the Italia Thunder have beaten the Argentina Condors. They lead 3-0 after three completed bouts, but the Argentina Condors still have the opportunity to fight for a bonus point if they can take the remaining two bouts. There's still plenty to fight for here in Milan, but the Argentina Condors have dropped the third bout in succession. The bronze medalists for the Italia Thunder have all delivered victories. They lead 3-0 the Italia Thunder.